guys, this is Starry from Star Sky Gaming, and welcome to Social DPS Weapon Mastery Loadout and Rotational video. So in this video I'm going to show you the power points, the loadout, the rotation, and also the weapon mastery I'm going to be using with it. So let's get started, and let's get to the Destiny Tree. So in the Destiny Tree I have power points in Condemn, Rejuvenate, Vengeance, now I have to put power point in this one so it unlocks the rest down here. So Invocation of Renewal, and in Circle of Destiny. <coughs> and Summon Tree, I have power points in Summon Guardian, Soul Well, Boon of Souls, Summon Watcher of Fury, Offering, Transmutation, Shard of Life. And the Iconics, Tactical Genius, Weapons Expert. I had a power point left there, so I put it in Super Strength, just for a little bit of fun. But you can always put it in Wisdom of Solomon or the HP. They're two good choices. Okay, so now to load up. So load up from left to right is Soul Well, Shard of Life, Transmutation, Circle of Destruction, Offering, and Fury. Now for the people that are going, how come I'm not using like Weapon of Destiny? Weapon of Destiny is a a very um I should put has a very quick cooldown on the skill, but also its damage pretty much like all hits within like probably like a second, second and a half of Weapon of Destiny. And since um I'm using like since I'm actually using um, weapon masteries, which are slow and take their time, I'm not actually getting a lot of damage from them because I've, I've tried it out on sparring targets. And like, to be honest, I only got like one tick out of weapon of destiny since I'm using weapon masteries. So I went with something else, which is so well, constant AOE damage over time. Plus, you get the buff when you kill stuff with it within the area. So for me, this just works out ten times better overall. Okay, so anyway. <clears throat> Let's get to sparring targets. Start the rotation. So, um, the mastery I'm using for this is a mastery I've come to like a lot. I just expect to come back, which is the one-handed mastery. It's good for melee. It's good for range. It's quick. Does a lot of damage, and just fits in really well with most powers, even with sorcery, because I want to try and do as much damage as quick as possible. And the one-handed mastery just fits it. Okay, so obviously we want to summon our fury pet. Now the the rotation to this for is um, we, we put our soul well up. Now I don't have any consumables to clip it with, so you know you're just gonna have to think when you get a consumable. This is what you can be clipping it with. So I put soul well, do my mastery, then I do shard of life, which is number two, and then I pop um, number four, which is circle of destruction. I do another wep I do another mastery, and then do my transmutation, and then while um, you know my skills are on cooldown. I will constantly use Shard of Life to reapply bad karma and transmutation on anything like one afterwards. And then obviously I'm going to use number 5 which is offering to keep the power up on my fury pet because this thing does us a lot of damage. Okay so let's keep my hit sparring targets a bit so we can get some power flowing in. And the rotation is going to look like this. Of damage coming off of it. So literally what we want to do is we pop our salt well, clip it with a consumable or a trinket, use our weapon mastery. So actually let's just go through it bit by bit. So at the beginning we would go soul well clipped with a consumable or trinket. And then we'd go our weapon mastery into shard of life. And then we would immediately press number four. And then we do another weapon mastery followed by transmutation. And then we we'll keep repeating with mastery to transmutation a few times before reapplying the bad karma on the target. Now, um, while the cooldowns of number one and number four, if we happen to do kill like an ad or something in between it, you know, just don't keep doing weapon mastery and pop in like transmutation, because tra transmutation does additional damage when bad karma is applied. So if we've killed something in between, you know, the cooldowns of 1 and 4, you know, from doing a with masteries and transmutation. We just want to reapply the bad karma to a new target, and then follow up with another weapon into transmutation. And then when our cooldowns are number 1 and number 4 ready, we would pop another soul well, another weapon mastery, 
into shard. Weapon, whoops, sorry. No, sorry, just straight forward, for number four afterwards. Up weapon mastery into transmutation. And let you just keep repeating this. So, see, we kill that target. Then we just swap to another one. Use shards. And then weapon mastery into transmutation. And obviously, we don't want to forget to give our fury pets and power because every time we pop offering, it also gives it a shield as well. So it keeps it alive, alive like, a little bit longer. And damn it, just went for all that power. Okay, so let's do, let's do the rotation a few more times. Damn, it's the um, Fury Pets in power, there's no tomorrow. How do I even get it? I'm just going to pop Spry Drop to see if I can give it some power. Come here. Right. Okay, so let's do the rotation. So, number one. Weapon Mastery. Shards. Number four. Weapon Mastery. Transmutation. Weapon Mastery. Transmutation. If it would like to do it. Wow, Fury. You really go checking that power. Okay. Let's give it another offering. Alright, let's pop our trinket. So number one. Weapon Mastery. Shards. Number four. Weapon Mastery. Transmutation. Weapon Mastery. Transmutation. So let's see that's been killed. Swap to another target. Reapply shards for back armor. Weapon Mastery. Transmutation. Weapon Mastery. Transmutation. Let's give our pets some power. Soul Wheel's finished. Let's pop the Soul Wheel. Weapon Mastery. Shards. Number four. Needs some power. So soda. And then Weapon Mastery. And Transmutation. Which is number three. And we just keep repeating that. Nice and simple. And we get to do our oh, powers quite a bit thanks to one handed being a um, short, fast rotation, but also being high on damage. And you can still see the pet, still having fun. Have some power, kill some stuff. That pet hits so ridiculously hard. <coughs> so, guys, I hope this video is going to be beneficial to you. I hope you enjoyed the loadout. Sorcery is great fun. It is actually really, really strong. It's quite scary actually how strong sorcery is. I don't know if it's down to the pets or just the whole combination of the powers and the pet, but either way, it's seriously strong. So, um, let me know what you think of the loadout. If there's anything that could be improved, please let me know. So, thank you for watching this. And until next time, I'll see you then. Beware my power. Green Lantern's life!